Your forecast with Lee Southwick. Yeah, well, we are still seeing some areas of rain in Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. You can see how rain still moving over there as the center of Fiona continues to move north. It is over the Turks and Caicos Islands. As of last check, it was only 20 miles southeast of Grand Turk Island and the hurricane force winds are extending outwards. 30 miles, so they are experiencing this hurricane force winds. Tropical storm force winds are up to 150 miles away from the center of the storm. Right now, sustained winds at 115 miles an hour. It is a category three hurricane. It is going to strengthen as it heads north. So notice throughout the day today, still strengthening by this afternoon, potentially up to 125 mile per hour winds, then becoming a category four hurricane overnight tonight with sustained winds of 130 miles an hour. That's when it's to the east of the Bahamas. It will continue to strengthen by tomorrow afternoon, perhaps 140 miles per hour winds. It will continue then to the northeast. It will pass Bermuda, likely still a category four hurricane with sustained winds of 130 miles an hour. From there, it will continue north, perhaps passing Nova Scotia, and it will become post tropical at that time. Hey, I have some new information here. This is a new update from the National Hurricane Center, and it's with these two waves that we are watching. There is now a high chance of our next tropical uh, depression forming within the next two days. An 80% chance of that development there within the next two days. We also have this wave here that we're watching as well. So the next names, Gaston and Hermine. So two waves that could potentially become those two. We are watching this wave closely as it heads towards the Caribbean, a medium chance of development within the next five days, a low chance within the next two days. But within the next five days, that's when it would be moving into the Caribbean. And from there, it could head across the northern Caribbean, perhaps towards Cuba, but that would be Monday and Tuesday. So it's a long ways away. There's a lot of time that we have to watch this system. So no need to be worried yet, but pay attention to this storm. We will watch it closely. We'll keep you updated if there's anything you need to know. But again, a long ways away, a lot could change. It's just something that we will be watching closely. Meanwhile, here the story is the heat out there right now. It's fairly comfortable. 60s and 70s, a few low 80s, a little bit of reduced visibility along the coast and on parts of the South Shore. It's dry out there for the most part, and I expect it to stay that way through the rest of the week. Sunny and hot highs today, 90 to 94 degrees. Tonight will be comfortable in the 70s. Then tomorrow, even hotter highs ranging from 92 to 96. That is near record heat. The record tomorrow, 96. I'm thinking 94 at the airport. Thursday, likely tying the record high. And the worst part about that is that it is the first day of fall. The equinox is at 8.04 in the evening. Friday is the first full day of fall. Still in the 90s, right near 92 degrees. I think we'll stay in the 90s through the weekend.